Hello everyone, Michael Ford here. I am a uh, candidate for Oshkosh City Council. Um, like all of you, I am here on the uh, second day of my social distancing. You might notice I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt. I'm doing that because it's very comfortable. And you know what? I'm not going outside. Anyways, so um, I'm here with my kids today and they don't start their formal instruction online through the Oshkosh Area School District until tomorrow. So um, I got to you know, pass on some of my own knowledge to them today. And uh, my day job is a professor of uh, public administration. And one of the best parts about being a professor of public administration is you get to teach budgeting. And I was giving them this lesson about the beauty of budgeting and public sector budgeting. And I decided, you know what, I should give it to the people of Oshkosh as well, or at least the few that might tune in to my goofy videos here. So here is the city of Oshkosh budget, 2020 budget. It's big, it's ugly. We got Look at that numbers, it's on both sides. So if you just printed this on one side, it'd be twice as big. Um, but I bring this up because people always ask me, what does a council member do? Why are you running for city council? And I can talk philosophically about how a council member serves as a bridge between the values of Oshkosh residents and their government. And I totally agree that's important. I can talk specifically about the strategic planning process and about hiring and evaluating the city manager. And yes, that stuff is so important, but nothing is as important the budget. The budget is the contract between you, Oshkosh residents, and the government that's actually overseeing and delivering delivering services. I think it's by far the most important thing uh, that a city council member is involved in. And um, if you can't tell, I also get excited about these things because you can look in this document and you can find everything that Oshkosh cares about, everything that their city government is doing, why we're doing it, where every dollar comes from, where every dollar is going. We can attach this to performance metrics to find out whether or not our money is working for us, whether or not it's working equitably so everybody's benefiting and all the good stuff we have going on in Oshkosh. That's why if you elect me, there's a couple things I want to do around the budget. One, I want to take this big old document and I want to keep it. We want it to be as detailed as possible, but I want to take all the most important information in this document and I want to put it online in a, uh, a format like, like Tableau, if you're familiar with, with uh, data dashboards and data visualizations, but a format where we can have everybody, me, you, council members, city staff, the city manager, that everybody can take a look at our main financials and we can look back over a period of five, 10 years, we can evaluate trends and we can put it right next to performance information. Um, it's not something that's expensive to do. It's not something that's necessarily even all that difficult to do, but it is something that can really put Oshkosh on the map as, as a, a city that is not just talking about transparency or following the letter of law and transparency, but going out there and proactively embracing it. So that's one of the systemic, uh, system changes I want to make. But I want to draw your attention to this, too. This looks like a piece of pizza, kind of. I've been eating a lot of frozen pizza lately because well, I'm not technically on quarantine, but I'm social distancing. And there's nothing better than social distancing with a uh, Poco pizza. So what we're looking at here is $137 million in all Oshkosh city funds. So there's all kinds of different ways we can slice the budget, uh, but that's really what we're talking about. This $137 million. And this pie has all kinds of good stuff in here. You know, our our general funds, things that were, you know, money we're spending on capital projects, all the stuff the city government does. But then we have this 15%, which is debt service. City of Oshkosh, just like you and me, um, takes out debt for things. We can take out debt for TIF districts, for economic development reasons. We can do it for infrastructure. Um, it's, it's really part of any good fiscal management policy in local government. It's going to involve, going to involve debt. It's, it's very few, very rare to have a municipality that doesn't have debt. Just like you have a mortgage on your house or perhaps a car payment or student loan, but some type of debt um, that is not necessarily bad debt. Where we can get into trouble is if our debt service gets too big because the, the pie is finite. It's like when you're eating your delicious poco pizza at home um, and your kids keep stealing slices and deep down you're thinking, well, that's going to be less for me. I'm just kidding about that, obviously, but it's finite, right? Our, our, our resources, our funds are finite. So the more money we're spending on debt service, and remember, debt service isn't providing any of that good stuff, police, fire protection, uh, public works, public health. Um, that's not happening. Debt service is just paying back money that we, we borrowed for something else. Again, nothing wrong with it, but we want to keep that manageable. Why? Because the smaller that gets, the more we have for the rest of the good stuff. So that's one thing we've got to do is keep our debt under control. 
And to do that, one of the things that, that I helped work, uh, work with or helped work on at the Long Range Finance Committee um, was, a, was a debt policy. And I'm, I'm happy that with the current council that they passed it. Um, I think that's important. So we're really making a commitment in this city to keeping our debt under control. You elect me, I can honor that commitment, keep working on that commitment. But the second part of this is, you know, we can, we can make this whole pie bigger. Let's get an extra large instead of a large. And that's through economic development. Um, that's by making Oshkosh a, a leader in the services we provide, uh, keeping our tax and fee climate um, competitive, you know, both for residents but also for business, um, but really doing all we can to ensure that this is a great place to live and work because then we're going to increase our tax revenue and make the pie bigger. And those are really the two ways that, that we can control our own destiny in keeping our budget uh, situation healthy. So I already took up six minutes of your time talking about budgeting. I'll just say before I go here, stay safe. If I wasn't here in my, uh, my bunker, um, I'd be handing out all kinds of great, uh, all kinds of great literature. Um, maybe it'll be on eBay after the election, and you can own an ironic piece. You know, this is the campaign literature that would have came to my door if we weren't social distancing. Um, so with that, uh, stay safe, stay sane, and uh, we'll get through all of this, uh, all of this together. Why? Because collectively, um, we are stronger than we are individually. That which brings us together more important, more powerful than that which divides us. So we're going to get through this. Thanks for your time.